Okay, I'm Ives Brower. I'm Chief of Operations at the Bear Utilidor System Plant, which uh, circulates drinking water and wastewater out to a treatment plant um, throughout the town. I've been here at Busey for f since 2004. Um, I was three years as an operator and then moved up into the management and chief of operations after that. Barrow whaling um, starts, it actually usually starts in the winter time, like around December. <clears throat> they start getting their boats ready and everything. Well, it starts in the summertime. They go seal hunting for the seals because they make their skin boats out of seal hide and they make them out of frame. The frames are made out of hickory. They used to be made out of driftwood here from the beach, but now they usually order hickory, oak, um, white or red cedar or white cedar from Southeast Alaska or Sitka spruce to make the frames from now. And they, um, they hand sew the seal skins together. There's some ladies here in town. They use um, traditional caribou sinew thread to sew the skins together. And um, then they put them on the frame of the boat and that's what they use for whaling in the springtime of the skin boats. Fall time is more not quite as traditional. They hunt out of aluminum boats because there's no ice to go off of. So they go boating out with us with aluminum boats for the fall time whaling. Springtime is much more traditional, that's skin boats. So when they make their sleds and they have to haul everything out on the ice, break trail through the ice to get out there to the water. You know, usually camp out there for a couple weeks at a time till you catch a whale. The ice is constantly moving, so you gotta have someone up 24 hours a day to watch your camp and just make sure you don't float off or break off. Or so, but it's amazing to be out there in the springtime whaling. So, especially knowing that that's how they've always whaled for generations like that. So, some of the equipment's changed. They use um, bombs now for the whales, um, big whaling guns that they use instead of. Um, just harpooning them and lancing them. They usually just lance them. I'd say they'll kill them, but a bomb's a lot faster, and a lot more humane, I guess, so. Amazing up here. They've got a lot of activities to keep everyone busy. Um, we've got um, parades in the spring and Pirakta, which is a spring festival. And that's kind of right before whaling starts. After spring whaling, the successful crews have what they call a boaudi. That's when they bring their boat in off the ice onto the land and they kind of serve duck soup to the whole community and anyone can go there. <clears throat> Usually duck or goose soup they serve, which they just caught because they go duck and geese hunting right after whaling's done. So and then they, and that's kind of celebration bringing the successful boat onto the land. And then later on they have what they call Nullicotuck, which is a spring feast that's usually end of June, beginning of July. And that's um, a big feast where they give, give out the whale to the community and share with everyone. Um, yeah, just everyone comes in and eats and they can have, it could be one crew or it could be a couple crews together serving the community. They cut up all the whale and, and meat and they make duck soup and everything. And same thing, they serve the whole town. So that's really fun. And then after they have that, they have fall whaling, um, Thanksgiving times. They have another um, feast similar to that, but it's in the, it's colder out, it's inside where they serve uh, fish, duck soup again, and whale at the, uh, the fall time after the ses successful fall hunting. Then we have Christmas games. Um, over Christmas, which is new games out there. They have all different kind of finger pull games and ear pull games and seal hop and a bunch of other games.